This is BBC Radio Oxford, 95.2 FM. We have online, TV and radio mixed in together, and news gathering. You work for BBC Oxford and you provide content for a range of different outputs. And from our purposes that's really useful because we can feed off each other all the time in terms of news gathering and getting stories. It's about content and it's about making that content local and relevant. We have all the operations, radio, online and television all based in the same newsroom so it means that we work very closely together. I think we should get Emma Romensky on the camera and, and we'll get Al on the mat. Okay, that's fine. Well, like other reasons, we do use camera crews to shoot the reports that simply can't be done by a one-person operation. But unlike other regions, every single one of our journalists can also shoot and edit their own reports. In common with many local authorities... In the All our reporters here are video journalists or VJs, and that means they go out, they shoot their story, they come back, they edit it, they voice it up, so they really do own that story. Here in Oxford, we've kind of led the way in the BBC with video journalism and the use of video journalism. We've taken it much further than anyone else. Yep, okay. Forensic officers are still searching the lane leading to Gary Morgan's home at Danesbrook Farm. To leave because of financial difficulties with the, the second so far this season. season. Another key to keep that run going. The problem is, though, with everyone caught up in the mood of the morning. As soon as the VJ's back in the building, the tape's put into the server. It's available to TV, it's available to radio, it's available to online, making a tri media working environment immensely quick now. The edit system that we have here is based on a, a computer system, a central server system, so that means all the material that everyone shoots is stored in a giant computer and everyone can access that material. So when the, the VJs have cut their reports, they save that material back into the, the computer and we can access that down in the gallery and that's what we use for transmission. This is BBC One in the South. Five, four, three, now it's Mix to three, mix to one, Q Jerry. More now on the Tory leadership battle and the rise and rise of the Whitney MP, David Cameron. Just a few Package on A now. Mix on two. It was here near the railway line that she was found. An investment in that should be considered a priority. I said I had a very clear direction for the Conservative Party, but on the economy. He may have been free running when he fell from the ledge just above me here. It's now up to the 300,000 strong Tory membership across the country. Good luck if you're having a bet on any of the horses we've seen here today. I do hope you can join me there. Now I'll hand you back to Sally to get some more today's news and sports. Southampton next. Cut.